I'm Valfrania. I've got a tip for you today. I am going to stencil the top of this buffet, but there's a couple things I'm going to do before I do that. First, I'm going to take one of my old worn out sanding sponges and I'm just going to very lightly run it over to take off any little bits of dust that settled in my paint. Now I'm going to check for any drips or overpainting, because you, as you can see, I have started de decorating the front here. So I'm checking to make sure that there's nothing that's going to interfere with my stencil. Like right here, I've got a little bit of overpainting, so I'm going to take that off. And then after, I will just do a quick wipe down. And then almost always before I stencil, I apply a thin coat of poly. Now I am using poly water-based polyurethane that I have put into a plastic jar. I like to keep my paint and my poly and these kind of things. I dampened this little sponge. This is a car detailer sponge. Pouring the poly. This is polyacrylic with reticot. Just pour some in there and I'm going to set my sponge in here to soak it up a bit, just for a minute. One thing I really like about this poly is it's a no stress poly. Now when I first started painting furniture and applying poly, it totally stressed me out. Because the typical tip that you get with applying poly is swipe and then swipe the next line just barely over the first one. Don't go back over it because you're going to get dragged because the poly would dry so fast. Well, that is not the case with this polyacrylic. Super easy to use. It doesn't dry so fast that you get dragged. So there is no stress application. I just let it soak for a minute. And then yes, I do swipe across from me, but I can go back over it if I want to. No stress, just apply it, and it doesn't dry so fast that you get drag. And then just get some more, take your time because there is no hurry. And then if you need to get more, then just get more. I tell you, taking the stress out of poly was huge for me. See, I can even do it this way. And then just go back over it to make sure that I don't have any heavy spots. And just do thin layers. And now it's ready for me to stencil after it dries. And why do I do that? Well, I'm not above making mistakes. And if I do a stencil and it bleeds under, because see I'll stencil and then I'll lift it up and look. If it bleeds under or there's a problem with the stencil, the way I have it set up, like maybe it's crooked or whatever, if I have a layer of poly on first, I can wipe it off with the wet washcloth. Otherwise, you'd have to repaint. So that's why I do a layer of poly first. Now I use this poly acrylic from Reticut because it's easy to use, great coverage, it self levels and there's no worry with it. It's so easy to use. I can use a brush or a sponge brush or a sponge like this and just apply it easily without any worry. It's a polyacrylic, there's the name of it. It's a water based polyurethane. Without getting into the chem chemical makeup of it all, it has more solids in it than the normal poly. So it's going to have uh, great protection for you because it's a quality product. You can find it in my market, furnitureflippingmarket.com. There's other choices there as well. That's my go-to is the poly acrylic. I have a little tip for you. This is the grige that I used for my buffet for the base coat. And I want to stencil over top of that. Um, and make it darker, but I want basically the same hue. So I'm taking the original paint 
that I used, and I'm going to darken it with the tints from Ritika. I shook it, and all I'm going to do is pour in some tint to darken it up. I'm working inside of a box because I don't want to make a mess, and I have so many boxes. And then I'm just going to mix it up to darken it just a tad so I can stencil with a paint that's very close to the same color, just a tad darker. Tints are a great way to create the color that you're wanting, rather than having to buy a whole quart of a new paint that you don't know if it's gonna coordinate or match, just make your own. It's water-based, so you use these tints in water base paint. You can also use the tints to make your own glaze and your own uh, tinted top coat or to make your own color paint. So I'm just gonna keep adding the tint until I get to the color that I'm looking for. And then when you're done, put Use the uh, spoon that you use to mix it up and then put some of the paint on top of the lid that you just mixed. And then make sure you write on the jar.